Here's one secret. He was a great kisser. <laughs> I love you. Twenty-seven-year-old Tatiana was tapped only days before to bring the magic from the video on stage. I got a phone call from his secretary telling me the good news. And um, <laughs> I remember jumping up and down on my couch, screaming. I'm, I'm sure I uh, woke up the neighbors. But um, when I found out, it just, it just knocked me off my feet. So here you are with Michael. How long did you, uh, did you tour with Michael? How long were you part of his life? I actually toured with Michael for a week, a few dates in Kansas City and a few dates in New York City, my hometown, I love you. In the final bow, it was certainly a special evening for Kansas City and for Tatiana, because once again, she felt the magic only Michael could perform. So excited. Um, extremely excited. Oh, listen, <laughs> Tatiana was not shy. She was not a shy girl. And in fact, going on with this story a little bit, she was told definitely, don't kiss Michael on stage. He was complaining she'd become too aggressive on stage and everything. And I made a joke, is this gonna be X-rated, this thing? I said, Michael, why don't you just go fuck her? You're gonna fuck her one night, get it over with. And he started laughing, and Frank <laughs> says, what the hell are you doing? I got enough goddamn trouble here without you trying to get him involved with this girl. I had been invited on tour with Michael, and I took it upon myself to kind of change the routine a bit. Something just came over me. And then I looked into Michael's eyes, and <laughs> he did the sexiest thing. He bit his bottom lip. It was like, you know, it was kind of like, like he was challenging me, like, come on, you know, show me what you got. And the next thing I know, we're, we're locked in a kiss, and his hands were on my head. It was overwhelming. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> It was mutual. You know, he bit his lip as to say, okay, come on, go for it. So we kissed. The next thing I know, he had his hands on my hips and we were locked in a kiss. And uh, here's one secret. He was a great kisser. <laughs> Tatiana's tale is quite different. She stepped into the spotlight with Michael Jackson in his The Way You Make Me Feel video. And when she says Michael asked her to tour with him, Tatiana says she felt there was love in the air. I went for it. Next thing I knew, he had his hands on my hip, and uh, we were locked into a kiss. The audience went berserk. I remember backstage, when I ran into his mother, Catherine, she greeted me with the warmest hug. The next person, that's pain I'll never forget. His manager, Frank DeLeo, gave me the most evil look. And um, that was it. I was off the tour. But like I said, you know, when you're that big and powerful, there's always going to be people in your camp that um, will not necessarily welcome someone else coming in because of maybe money, position, or even love. And um, you know, it just unfortunately didn't happen between us, but um, there was definitely at a time mutual feeling, and I even think love, you know, I think love was blossoming, but it wasn't given a chance. So. I had um, gone to his trailer to try and talk to him, and I stood there with Ricky Schroeder and Alfonso Ribeiro, and they went in to see Michael. And I stood outside, I'm waiting, and I never, I never spoke to Michael again. Yeah, actually, when, um, when um, I did not return on the tour dates that I was supposed to return on, uh, the family, in fact, had contacted me and um, 
Majestic picked me up one day and he brought me to the house. And uh, Catherine and I hung out in the kitchen talking and she told me, she said, well, I know for a fact that Michael loved you. He was in love with you because when he was shooting the video with you, one morning I came to his room and he sat on the edge of the bed and I guess he looked very uh, maybe depressed or, you know, in thought, I don't know. And she said that she asked him, what's wrong, Michael, what's wrong? And he said, well, this, this girl Tatiana, I really like her, I, I really have feelings for her, but I don't, what do I do, mother? And she said, you know, Michael, just tell her. Talk to her, just tell her. But we never got the chance to be alone, as I mentioned before. Um, the last, the last show that uh, we did, I, I requested to speak with Michael because I had, I didn't have the opportunity to do so. So I wanted to thank him for incorporating me within the tour. And we spoke um, that evening, and I expressed that I'm sorry if I threw you off in any way with last night's show because I changed the act a bit. I kissed him on the cheek. The crowd went berserk. They loved it. So. Um, I asked him, would you mind if uh, I did that again and perhaps take it a step further? He was like, oh no, that'd be great, that'd be great, sure. So I did, uh, long story short, there were people within his, his tour, his group that uh, were not thrilled by that, didn't like it. Um, I got an evil look from his manager and um, his second hand man, uh, I won't use the name, basically went off on me in front of everyone at the hotel where we were staying. And uh, I, was, I was due to come back in Atlanta, and the dates went by, and it, I never got the call. I um, got alopecia, which is uh, patches of, of hair loss, and I mentally was affected by this for quite some time. I think sometimes it's still actually, if I allow myself to, to go that deep into it, it, it still bothers me. I'm devastated. I just truly can't believe that this day is here, and uh, I'm trying to cope. We were not intimate, but you can never ever take away what I've shared with Michael, and it will always be sacred and precious. His handlers and people within his camp, they didn't allow us to really get to know one another more. The last time we spoke was uh, 1991. I'm it's just praying okay. he's at peace and he's happy and he's dancing and he's singing with all the other angels. It was the hardest day of my life. It was um, the worst day of my life. Uh, I have never been through um, such pain like that before that really that changed my life you know because that day I'm sorry the little girl in me died that day with him and uh, my life is different I do feel a difference and I ask God constantly, you know, why, why him? Why am I still here? What is my purpose? And uh, I truly believe that uh, he's in a better place now. Wow, I, I, you know, that's something that I had, I think, held on to the hopes of always having the opportunity to talk with him. But I would basically tell him that, um, that I loved him and that I, I always would and always will.
Because